Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo is the game where Akuma made his first appearance. Before your final battle with Bison, he appears on screen, performs the Shun Goku Satsu attack on Bison, and defeats him. The battle against him will start right away. It's actually not regular Akuma you fight here, it's Shin Akuma. You can tell because he has the double air fireballs. Prior to this, the only time we see Akuma mentioned is an image of him during the introduction. This is the version that most of us are familiar with. You can use a code to select Akuma and use him in versus mode or arcade mode, but the version you're allowed to use can only throw one air fireball. I'm not sure if there's any change to his frame data compared to Shin Akuma, which is a version the CPU has control of in the secret battle. The international version was called Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. This is the more common version that America got to play. It has English text and different names for bosses. Akuma has no real ending in this version. He just does one of his winning poses, then the screen goes to the credits. If you beat Shin Akuma, he grabs him, then does one final uppercut. There's no ending text at all. You will see Akuma one more time at the very end of the credits, after Bison. And that's pretty much it. But what if I told you there is an ending for Akuma? For example, the Japanese arcade version of the game looked like this. It was called Super Street Fighter 2 X Grand Master Challenge. If you defeat Bison, you get this text ending for Akuma. It's something small, and it then fades into the credits. It's more than what you got in the American version, which was nothing. Here is the possible translation of what he is saying. The Emperor of Evil? Huh. Hmm. Such nonsense. He who has mastered the fist wins. Nothing more. If you manage to meet the requirements to fight Shin Akuma, you get something different. When Shin Akuma appears to finish off Bison, you can see Bison's body sitting, then he falls over. This appears only in the Japanese version. The other thing is that Shin Akuma says a few words before the fight starts. The translations might not be completely accurate, but it could be this. I am the one who has mastered the fist. Put your body to the test and experience how weak and powerless you are. I found another source online, and this is their translation. I am the master of the fist. You shall learn how weak you are. They kind of give the same message, just the wording is different. When you beat Shin Akuma in the Japanese version of the game while using Akuma, he has quite a bit of text. It's a lot different from the American version which had nothing. This is what it might translate to. Who, who are you? I am your shadow. Those who are seen by the shadow are condemned to death. Your time has come. Hmph. I have long dwelled in the darkness. Only a fool fears death. After this, he would finish off the enemy with an uppercut. The screen fades to black, and there is one more set of text. Here's what this might translate to. The man vanished into the darkness once again, leaving numerous mysteries behind. The Japanese version of the game was ported to Dreamcast, and it was called Super Street Fighter 2X Grand Master Challenge for Matching Service, which was supposed to use the online features for the Dreamcast. So why would you want to play this version over Super Turbo, which was available on other platforms at the time? Well, this is the Japanese version of the arcade game. If you beat the game with all the characters with their Super Turbo and also their previous classic Super versions, that's two playthroughs per character, you can then access a secret menu to change various things about the game. The game normally runs with a slowdown effect occurring when someone is hit by a projectile. You can see it here when I try to jump. If you wanted to, you could turn this feature off so the game runs a bit smoother. It really depends which effect you prefer. Another setting could change Vega's super meter consumption. By default, the super meter gets consumed when Vega grabs the enemy. You can change this so the super animation also appears during his wall jump, but the meter will also get consumed upon jumping off the wall. Another setting will make the screen get darker when you activate a super move, which I think is kind of nice, and this will later be used in other games. You can change character name colors and change the language from Japanese to English, so the boss characters have their American names, 
but this just changes it to the American version. If you make this language change, you lose the special text when you meet Shinokuma, along with the animation for Bison's body falling over, and you also don't see the special ending for Akuma when he speaks about Bison or Shinokuma, so it's really better to play the Japanese version if you're playing this on Dreamcast. Now let's switch this back to the Japanese language. Bison's name is now Vega. This will give us the special text from Shinokuma when you meet him, along with the sprite of Bison's body falling over. It also lets you see Akuma's true ending, which is not in the English version when I switch it. We all know about the code to unlock Akuma, the one with no super meter, and he only has one air fireball. This is the version everyone knows about in Super Turbo. Aside from that, this game on Dreamcast has two other versions of Akuma. There is a way to unlock the boss version of Shin Akuma with two air fireballs, but he still had no super meter, although I'm not sure if any frame data is different between them. The last secret is there is one more version of Shinakuma with a super meter. Many sources online seem to call this Ten Akuma. It's basically Shin Akuma, but with a super meter to use the Shun Goku Satsu or Raging Demon. I think this was the earliest version of Super Turbo that allowed you to use Shin Akuma and get access to the Raging Demon because the American version only has regular Akuma as a playable character. If you had the Dreamcast version set to Japanese, then all three versions of Akuma on Dreamcast will get the same Japanese ending. It's the same one that was in the arcade version of Super Street Fighter 2 X Grand Master Challenge. The American version of the game does not have any text for Akuma's win quotes. You just see their character portraits and that's it. But the Japanese version does have text for Akuma. I'm not sure why they kept these extra features in the Japanese version, but at least you get to use the boss versions on the Dreamcast. If you want to know the win quote translations for Akuma in the Japanese version, then here's what I found. And again, the wording could be changed, but it all means the same thing in the end. He's got around six win quotes, unless I missed something. One thing I noticed about Ten Akuma is that he builds super meter very slow. If I do three weak spin kicks, it builds up the meter to a small amount. And when compared to Ryu, it's a big difference. Ten Akuma can build super meter a bit safer by just teleporting around the stage, but if you're attacking a lot, the opponent might get defeated before you can even use the Raging Demon. So I guess it's a good balance change since his other special moves are so good. There's also that question as to why this final version is called Ten Akuma. The only thing I can think of is that the Ten symbol on his back, which might translate to sky or heaven, but some sources have linked it to the word God. Maybe at some point they were trying to name him God Akuma, you know, because he was at full power. I'm not sure, but that's just my guess on it. Alright, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to cover this special port of Super Turbo on Dreamcast because it had some new features that were not present during the release of the international version. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. この弱さ不愉快だ。己の力も見切れぬか。